Today I'm going to tell you about my experience flying with the pacemaker for the first time. I was worried about flying the first time after getting my pacemaker implanted. Specifically, I was worried about the security screening at the TSA checkpoint. And there are two different kinds of devices that they use at the TSA checkpoints that I was concerned about. And the first was the arch type metal detector, the walkthrough. So I did some research uh, on the device manufacturer's website that I have. And they told me that walking through those arch type are no problem. That it's safe for the device, it's safe for me, but depending on the size, it may set it off and to have your ID card ready. And the one thing they did say to avoid was the wand type metal detector to make sure if somebody's wanding you down with that to tell them ahead of time that you have the pacemaker and to avoid that area. So when I got to the airport, I actually didn't have to go through the arch type metal detector. They weren't using those that day. But I had previously been through one at Disney Security. I talked about that a little bit more in my video called Electromagnetic Fields at Disneyland, where when I went up to the checkpoint, I had my ID card ready, but I just wanted to see if I would set it off. So I went through the detector and it didn't set it off at all. So from then on, you know, I was pretty confident that every time I go through the arch type metal detector that I wouldn't have a problem. So when I got to the front of the TSA line, I was debating with myself whether or not I should let them know ahead of time that I had the pacemaker or if I should just go through and see what happens. So I did notice that that day they were using the second type of scanning device that I was a little concerned about, and that's the full body scanner, the millimeter wave scanners. So I had also looked those up on my device manufacturer's website, and they told me that those were also safe for me to go through with my pacemaker. It's the ones where you go through and you have to hold your arms up above your head, and then they um, look at their screen and tell you whether or not to, to move on or if you need a pat down. So. I decided just to go through, have my ID card ready if, if I needed it, but I went through the scanner and then I, when I walked out they held me for a second, which it seemed like they weren't doing to other people, but after a couple seconds they told me just to move on, everything was fine. So that was the second thing I was concerned about was that um, body scanner showing something up and that they would have to do a pat down. So in my case, I didn't say anything ahead of time. I just had my ID card ready. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that and you'd rather let them know ahead of time that you do have a pacemaker, it may set things off. Um, they may um, have you stand aside and do a, a manual pat down and things may take a little bit longer. So I'd say give yourself some extra time if, you, if you're gonna go that route, um, otherwise, you can um, know that you're safe to go through all the different types of um, imaging or metal detector devices at TSA. Now these are my own experiences. I would definitely suggest you do whatever your doctor says or whatever you feel comfortable with going through security with your device. Um, I would definitely speak up if they try to use the handheld wand because my device specifically says to avoid those. And I would also speak up if you're still within the recovery period where you're not supposed to lift your arms above your head. You know, if, you, if they want you to go through the, one of those scanners, I would definitely speak up and let them know that there's a medical reason why you cannot. So if you like the content of this video and would like to see some more, please uh, give this video a like. And also I'm curious about what other people have experienced going through airport security. So please leave a comment below. Thank you. Subscribe now. Resistance is futile.